Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here today with a crazy fast wing modification for the Tiny Jet. So let's get cracking. Friends, of course, the first step is to bring out this shape right here. This is what I'm going to make my wing out of. It's the same as before. We are going to simply rotate it 90 degrees, do D for drop, and then I'm going to tell you that this measurement here needs to be 45. That's how big we made the hole. I'm going to tell you that our cardboard is 4 millimeters thick. That's kind of mandatory as well. And then you get to go a little bit crazy with this distance. I'm going to tell you the biggest I've tried is 125. I don't know what the perfect number is, but you definitely need to fit inside this blue area. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in the holes. These are mandatory as well. Remember, we do shift, shrink, and we know it has to be size 4 and press enter. And then you can change the length to what you want. I'm going to do 25 and press enter, and I'm going to do control D, so there are two of those. I'm going to slide it back so it's at the back edge. I'm going to slide this one up to the front edge. I'm doing shift nudge so it's a little faster. You need to leave some meat so that your wing has strength, and that is a wing mod. Now, if you want to make these cooler, you can add things on the ends. I'm going to come out here and just add a little rectangle like a missile on the end. Uh, I'm going to choose six for how wide it is. Of course, I'm going to make it four so that it matches. And then I'm going to do control D because I want one on both sides. I'm going to do shift nudge to move it over. Select it, do a line. I want the green one to be the boss and I want this one on that corner. I want the green one to be the boss and I want this one on this corner. I'm going to grab all three of those. Notice I'm doing shift select. Let's align one more time. And this time the green one's the boss and I want them to make sure they come to the back. Now as I think about this, I want it to move in and I want it to move in. Real quick, I want to add little triangles on the front. I'm going to put my work plane right here, bring out the green roof. Notice it lines up the right way. I can set my work plane back on the ground and do D for drop. And then we can just use the black handles to line it up. Could also have just typed my six, shrink it to size four, do control D, and then I'm going to just hold down shift, select the red one, make it the boss. Let's look at it from the top, and you know I wanted to put it in middle. Friends, this is my wing mod. Now I also want to change my tail fin, so watch this smart trick. I'm going to hold down shift on the green and the hole and do control D. I'm going to nudge this back, because that's how we make the back tail fin. And then I'm just going to shrink this in until it's the size that I think is cool. Not doing any math, just adjusting. And then I want to take those two and align them again so that they're in the middle. And I'm going to go in the middle and then nudge this forward because remember that slides into the tiny jet. Friends, group it and that piece is built. Group it and this piece is built. I'm going to make it more efficient by cutting, by flipping this and dropping it right in that spot and you are ready to export it to the laser cutter. Once again, friends, you hit export. We're doing the SVG. You need to put it in the STL folder. Remember, it is on our quick access, and make sure it has wing, mod, and your initials. My initials are MDH. I've probably done this once or twice, so I'm gonna put a two after it. Friends, when you got it like that, you can let me know, and you're ready for laser cutting. Friends, if you found this video useful, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.